Do you need an easy way to navigate quickly between the pages and sections of your Microsoft Word documents? The Document Navigation pane included in Word 2010 allows you to see an overview of your document, move easily from one page or heading to another, search for specific text or graphics that appear in the document, and quickly restructure the content of your document. The navigation pane can be viewed side by side with your document, allowing you quick and easy access to any page or section you need to review. This saves you the time it would take to scroll up and down through a document to find a certain image or portion of text. Plus, the pane features several navigational tools that can be very helpful when you're putting together a complex document. In order to use all the tools in the navigation pane, your document needs to have more than one page, it needs to be divided into sections with headings, and of course, it needs to have text and or graphics that you can search. You are writing a policies manual. You have a lot of information to include, so you want to find the best possible presentation and arrangement of the content. First, you'll familiarize yourself with the document navigation pane, and then you'll use it to restructure part of your document. This is the beginning of our policies manual. The navigation pane is another way to view our document, so it can be found on the View tab of the ribbon. The View tab contains quite a few alternative ways to view documents, but the Show group has the option we're looking for. To open the navigation pane, we simply need to select the checkbox. Once we click the option, the navigation pane opens on the left of the screen. The pane has three main views and related functions. You can select which navigational tool you want to use by clicking one of the tabs below the Search Document box in the pane. The first tab, which is open, allows us to browse the headings of the various sections of our document. Looking at the document map shown, we can see that our manual has a number of headings and subheadings, which correspond to the various sections of the document. We want to view the section called Area Managers, so let's click that heading in the pane. We have navigated to the Area Managers section on page 3 with one quick click, and we see how easy it is to use the pane. Now let's click the middle tab to try another feature of the navigation pane. This tab allows us to navigate the pages of the document. We want to look at page 2, so let's click the thumbnail for page 2. Now we are at page 2 in our manual. So far we have moved back and forth within our document by browsing the headings and pages. Let's try the third navigational tool available in the pane. This tab shows the results of a search when we type a term or look for graphics in the search document box at the top. To run a search, we need to click in the search document box at the top of the navigation pane. Then, when we type a term in the box, the navigation pane will show the results of the search and highlight all occurrences of the word or phrase in the document. Let's type the word policy in the box to see what happens. We can see that Word has automatically highlighted every occurrence of the word policy throughout the document. In addition, the navigation pane shows several search results. This search function makes it incredibly easy to pinpoint the text we're looking for. Let's see what happens when we click the first result shown. That took us right to the first place the word policy appears in our document, which is on page 1. In addition to letting us easily navigate within a document, the navigation pane also gives us the ability to easily restructure our manual. Let's try reordering some of the sections. To get started, let's return to the first tab. Once again we see the document map. The section we want to move is located under the heading Open Door Policy. We want to move this section so that it comes before the Anti-Harassment Policy section. 
we can simply drag and drop the Open Door Policy heading to just above the Anti-Harassment Policy heading, which will rearrange the sections. Notice how quickly and easily we have reorganized our document by simply moving one heading above another. We are finished navigating and restructuring our document for now, so let's close the navigation pane. You've seen how the document navigation pane is a very helpful tool for working with documents. It allows you to browse through pages and sections of your document, run searches, and navigate to specific instances of the search. You can even use the navigation pane to restructure your document. The best part is that the pane is very user-friendly and you can work with it right alongside your document.